Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. We are learning structured query language. In the last few videos, we have been working with functions. We have practiced with count function and sum function in the last two videos or three videos. And it's time to understand the definition of these functions in a bit more detail. Both these functions are examples of what are known as set or aggregate functions. Other examples of aggregate functions are max or maximum, minimum and average with which we still have to do some practice. An aggregate function has a requirement which is that data should be grouped in some sort of groups and if group by clause is not used then the whole column or I should say entire table is treated as one group by the aggregate function that is being used. An aggregate function processes data and returns only one value for the whole group. If the table is, if group by clause is not used, then the whole table will be used as one group. And if data is grouped somehow, then one value will be written for each group. An aggregate function takes an input within brackets or parentheses as they are called. And as mentioned, it returns only one value. So let's do some more practice. Okay, so probably we should do some practice with maximum function or minimum function today. Say for example, we want to use this table to find out the maximum salary of uh, any employee in the table. Okay, select max is the function, aggregate function, and we want to say cell, maximum salary from EMP which is the name of the table so we're treating whole table as one group so we'll run this and the maximum salary is nine thousand dollars in the table and we can say in double quotation maximum salary double quotation closed we want to change this heading here run and the maximum salary is nine thousand dollars now we can group this uh, maximum salary we want to find the maximum salary from each department so if you look at the data in the whole EMP table there are two departments and data can be grouped by department number so we want to say department number maximum salary from EMP and we'll have to use group by department number so we'll run this and maximum salary in department number 10 is seven thousand five hundred dollars department number 20 nine thousand dollars and then this employee there is only one employee that is that does not belong to any department is earning five thousand dollars the this is also treated as a group you can also use minimum function and you can do the same thing so the minimum salary and we'll have to say minimum here minimum salary run this again control enter and the minimum salary in department number 10 is three thousand dollars department number 20 is six thousand dollars and group of employees that do not have it is not associated with any department the minimum salary is five thousand dollars we can also say average average salary and we'll say average here average salary group by department number and this is the average salary in department number 10 this is the average salary in department number 20 and this is the average salary for the group of employees that does not belong to any department and we know that there is only one employee that does not have any department number with it so that's all for today thank you very much